everyone. Welcome to the Comic Corner, and this is your host, Spider Slayer. Today, on the Comic Book Corner, we're going to review issue number two of Deathstroke. That's right, issue number two of Deathstroke. First, we'll do a brief review, and if for all of you that are still interested or on the fence about this issue, um, I'll do a walkthrough and see if you're interested in buying future issues of it. Um, I must say that this series right now is not much depth in a story, um, but it has a lot of action, and you also realize that uh, Slade Wilson really kicks some ass. Um, not just in the last issue, but this issue too. Um, so that's pretty much the basic plot of the story, is all he does is kick some serious ass. Um, in the last issue, he's, become, he's come across... Uh, a mysterious briefcase and in the beginning of this issue we see that he opens the briefcase but we still don't know what's involved um, but again this uh, is done by Kyle Higgins and the art is done by Joe Bennett um, you can see here that again um, if you didn't see in the opening credits uh, it's got nice art the art is fantastic on the cover um, and the art is pretty darn good on the inside too. Um, there's a lot of action, lots of action, not much plot going on in this, um, except that Slade Wilson kicks some ass. Again, he kicks some ass. I mean, that's all I can say. Hopefully the story gets a little bit more involved as time goes on. Um, I do want to see a deeper story. I'm not always all about action as much as I do love the action. I mean, literally, this book took me about five minutes to read. That is it. Um, that's how much um, plot there was. I mean, it was pretty much all hack and slash. And um, that was it. Um, so my basic review on this is probably a three and a half, maybe four out of five. Again, being plot line very thin, and I hope this doesn't trend. And you know, because there's only so much just action you can do without much story. But um, but right now, I'm going to show you guys uh, some scenes in the comic, and then we're going to do a walkthrough for all of you that are on the fence. So I'll see you in a little bit, and enjoy the artwork inside. <laughs> back I hope you enjoyed the uh, inside of the book there you got to see some good pictures and uh, appreciate the art a little bit so now what we're going to do is for all you who are on the fence about this book or can't afford it and you have other titles that you want to read besides this one and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the walkthrough of uh, Deathstroke number two and uh, here we go this shouldn't take long so all right first thing we see opening page here as we see the man with a briefcase full of money um, he's going to go inside this uh, restaurant and uh, we can see that he is going to take a seat and him and Slade Wilson are going to talk and uh, basically he is going to open up the case this is this mysterious briefcase that's been uh, in the last issue and this issue, and we really don't know what it is. And um, basically, Slade is like, uh, "What do you think this is for uh, nuclear secrets?" And uh, this guy is just kind of freaked out. So, after all, um, this guy was kind of all in a plan, and all of a sudden, he says uh, he's going to cut him in half. And then all of a sudden, he brings his buddies in with him, and. Uh, He's going to get this briefcase from, brief, briefcase from Slade, and you can see all these, like, bounty hunter guys. They're right here. They're getting ready to kick his ass. Well, to prove that Slade Wilson can kick some ass, he's like, well, that's it. I'm freaking pissed off now. And here we go. 
first thing off the bat, we're going to see some slashings of the neck. Um, we're going to see the little robot guy with brains. He gets bashed in. And we're going to see um, some sword action here where this creature is just like cut in half. And the next thing we're going to see is the person stabbed in the head. And this person is not looking too good right there. She looks like she's in some pain. And all of a sudden, the guy behind the counter is like, just back the heck up, dude. And uh, so, but really, in all instance, you know, he smashes him in the face. And he's done. And next thing we know is he takes a bottle and he smashes the girl in the face with it. You can see she's like, ah! And that's about it for there. So next thing you know is this guy here is he's calling for all his possible backup. He's like, I don't care what it takes. Get them all here. So the next thing we see is that here comes the Humvees. And we're going to see all the heavy artillery coming out all of a sudden. Next thing we see is things are blowing up all over the bridge. There's destruction, chaos. And... This guy's just like, he's just like, oh my god. And then a uh, grenade launches, and boom! And he still has his briefcase full of money there. He's still not dead. And uh, next thing we know is that the heavy artillery's coming in. We got the big airplanes coming in. And Slade Wilson's just all prepared for it. He's looking like he's getting shot there. And, uh, and next we have the heavy, heavy artillery coming out. And he's like... Face me, my name is Road Rage. And here he is. He's like some gigantic robot guy um, that has like tires for wheels or tires for feet. And he goes really fast. And uh, really, though, he's no match for him. He like kind of just smashes him right there. And, uh, you know, next thing we know is he's just like, oh, here, let me help you up. And he's like, no, please. And all of a sudden, he stabs him right here, and it makes him go flying. He goes flying into the air, and he blows up into the big giant plane or helicopter, whatever it is, because the dude's trying to escape. And that blows up, and it looks like the blade is going to cut him in half. And the next thing we see is that, yes, the mysterious man is cut in half, so he's no longer in the picture. And basically, all this was was his entire setup, because it was all caught on TV, so they say, so Slade thinks that he will never get turned down for jobs again because he is a badass. And that's been the theme of this book in the first two issues. And all we see is that he throws his cell phone after talking to uh, uh, Mistoff, I think his name was. And, uh, and, uh, and he says, well, we'll call an expert. And the next issue is Legacy. That's pretty much about it. All it was was he kicks ass. And uh, it was all a plan to be shown on TV, so he's not to be wet, messed with. And, and that's about it, the issue. Like I said, lots of action. Three, three and a half out of five, four. That's it. So tell me what you... All right, sorry for that brief interruption, but that's about it. Um, you tell me what you think. Uh, about this issue if you agree or disagree and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and walkthrough and when you get a chance if you want to please subscribe to my channel I definitely appreciate every one of you watching and uh, and uh, taking the time for my videos so until then this is Spider Slayer out and see ya <laughs>